some dirt, some actual proper just soil. Wow, look at that. It was jeans in my last video. This video, I don't know what these trousers are. Tracky bottoms and slippers and a Dremel and a saddle. What could be happening? Well, hello and welcome to another video in the series where I ride a haggard bike shaped object, a BSO. It's the track attack. It came from eBay for £40 and it's been languishing and it's done a few. I did 100k on it, not all, not all in one go. And uh, the time has come for improvements to happen. Let me show you all the things. Right, where's the seat post? You'll just have to excuse this um, location, that this filming location. It's all a bit haggard. Um, there's crap everywhere. Right, this was the saddle and seat post. Now this saddle, I don't know if you can see, but it's just horrendous. I don't know what it is. Is that a word? I don't even know. I-S-C-A-S. I scal. I don't know. It's really soft when you press it and then it goes like a couple of mil in and then it's rock solid. Plus the um, seat tube isn't round on the inside. It's got like protrusions. And when you try and put a seat post in, it scratches the hell out of it. Now this is obviously a steel seat post which came with it. Um, from 1995 obviously. Some nasty rust, a little bit of mud. Mm. Anyway, that's now been replaced. Where's the new one? Oh, look at this. It's twice as long. Does that mean I'm going to go twice as fast? Look at that. Anyway, this is now aluminum. Um, I've tried to put it in the um, seat tube, but as you can see, it's scratched it up. That's me twisting it right and left to try and get it in and out. It did go in and out, but it needs some grinding. It's not even round. Let's get the Dremel out. Um, here's a Dremel. Here's a grinding bit. Here's a seat tube thing. I've already ground a lot of it out, so this is just for video effect. Let's turn it on. the noise of the Dremel grinding the inside of the seat post. Right, that was for, for video effect. I've already done the hard work. Now let's get in. Let's put the seat tube back in. Ta-da! There you go, new saddle and seat post. If you've seen videos about this bike before, you'll remember like crude oil embedded into the chain. Years of it. No one's ever degreased it. Anyway, I degreased it the other day. Let's have a look at it now. Can you see that? Is that coming out? GoPro doesn't do, I've got it on narrow view, but it doesn't really do close up focusing. But underneath the grease, I found some metal. That's actually cleanish. Okay, I've touched it and got dirty. It's cleaner. I haven't cleaned that bit, but I've cleaned, I've cleaned that jockey wheel, and uh, you can see that 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 is an improvement. Does it still go round? Yeah. There is one weird thing where the um, the free free hub or whatever they call it, this thing does a little dance. Can you see that moving? That thing's moving. It's doing a little jig as the wheel goes around. I need to sort out the uh, cup and cone bearings, but they're not too bad for 25 years old. There's a little bit of play in this bottom bracket. Hang on. A little bit of play, but it's not too bad. If that's cup and cone bottom bracket, I might be able to sort something out of that. I need to know what tool to use for this bottom bracket there. Can anyone tell me what tool I need to get this bottom bracket serviced. I'll go around the other side, hang on. Hopefully you can see that. That's the bottom bracket I'm playing with. These are metal, um, these must be steel. Yes, they must be steel handlebars 
and at the end there was a lip so i couldn't get the new grip on i've got a new brake lever on it i've got a new grip branded by clark's couldn't get any pill grips so it had to be clark's alternative but that feels so much nicer i'm going to be ripping the trails very soon and i've got some more goodies let's just have a look at the remaining goodies to go on what's this this is a chain hopefully this chain is the right one these obviously are brakes someone sellotape them up for me got these on ebay that's a new that's a new brake block they've even chucked in some new brake blocks these are going to be great i've never set up a pair a set of cantilever brakes before so there's some weird dangly cable here that i got to do something with Ooh, touch the lens oh don't scratch my camera god so there should be some front and rear brakes there and they're going to be replacing is that a, there you go before and after see that metal these are these are plastic it's disgusting they just flex horribly but i've got a set of metal ones that are now going to go on branded dire comp they do some sweet stuff actually i think it's a, a japanese brand they do some cool stuff so i'm looking forward to getting them on so i have a new chain so that means oh look there's my fixie look at that do you want to get a close-up of the basket whilst we're here look it's one of these nitto racks got some rust in there and all nitto rack goes on to here oh there's some more rust it's just well used that's all i wouldn't worry about it all right last thing we're gonna do is check the chain wear so this is the chain this chain is we're guessing 25 years old many many years old should we check the top right so i'm gonna put this in here and you see this this is the wear marker 0 0.5 if it goes in the first one it's half worn if it goes in the second one as well then it's three quarters worn or it's got a stretch of 0.75%, I think that's what it is. And there's 1%. So if it's at 1%, it's trash. If it's at 0.75%, then it's nearly trash. And 0.5 is fine. Let's see what it is after all these years. This is where YouTube can put an advert in for the suspense. Da, da, da. Oh my god. It's gone all the way in and it rattles in there. It's not even tight on the third one. It goes in and it moves backwards and forward. So <clears throat> that means it's um, dead and it may have wrecked the drivetrain as well depending on how many kilometres the last person rode on it. I don't really want to be replacing everything. I want to keep my pro wheel rings because they're amazing. I'm never going to be able to clean that. Oh, there's some oily goop in there. Okay, well, that's I got a new chain. I'll put the new chain on. That means I'm going to soon be able to go out ascending. But I'm a roadie, so I'm going to. I don't want mud coming up and flicking me. Like, see this back tire? It's going to just the mud's just going to go oh, into my back. So I'm going to need some kind of mud guard. But I do want to keep the 90s reflector. Massive 90s reflector. It's got one on the front as well. Right, let's try and get these brake arm things off. Oh, smooth as butter. Didn't even need any gur. Pair of horrible brakes off. Wow, brakes installed. Just gonna focus. 
Let's try this out. Oh, oh, never installed them before, but it's probably quite a messy job, but who cares? It's a hand built in Great Britain bicycle. Okay, that's front and rear. Look at that. Proper brakes. Okay, that's it for a track attack update. 